You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And believe it or not, it's been five years yeah. for wiffle ball. It has. Mary Waldron, welcome back. Thanks, Mark. Great Good to, to be. see you here. Thank you for having we me. Are, we're, we're just before the fourth. And the excitement's building. I'm watching all the social media exploding <laughs> for this event. It is. Well, it's good to have a daughter who's a marketing major who graduated to help with them with the uh, with the that piece of it. But it is exploding, and my phone goes off the hook, both home and 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 my cell phone and emails and everything. But it's great. It's just great. It it almost seems like if it's a. Uh, how do I say it? It's just, it's a great group of a cross group of people and business people and community folks and young people and older people and it's a great time. Anybody that's anybody, okay? I mean, if you look at the events that are happening in the city, like the Creedon Road Race, mm -hmm. this event, this is what Brockton's all about. Yeah. People helping people, people coming together for a good cause. Well, and I think that's really what it is. It's. Uh, we're moving the, the needle forward in terms of what John would do, in terms of helping all the community groups or people that he had volunteered for, but it all goes back to charity. It all goes back to community groups. It goes back to scholarships and, and the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, NAACP. I mean, it just, you think of it, even if it's sometimes just a little bit, but that little bit can be leveraged to go a long way. So just about everything you can think of that we've made donations and stretches all of the dollars out. Give us the yes. facts and Great. figures Perfect. to start with so everybody knows slight little tweaks and adjustments. Great. We were talking about it off air. Yes, so first of all, it's um, Saturday, July 23rd. And this year, registration starts at 9.30. Um, most of the teams that have already um, responded so far are our returners, but we have a couple new teams that are coming in. But it, um, so registration's 9.30. There is going to be a group picture at 11 o'clock mm -hmm. with some just small announcements and then 11:30 sharp which is different from last year last year was noon but this year it's 11:30. we're going to start sharp with right into game and um the, nobody knows the teams who they're playing until the day of so mm -hmm. don't ask me the question but so we um there is a charge for a um for a team there's up to 10 anywhere from four to 10 members of a team. You can have carry on more than 10 players, mm -hmm. which many of the teams do, but you have 10 players on the field. And um, so it's a, can I mention the amount? So it's $150 per team. So mm -hmm. if you think about it, you have 10 players on your team, it's $15 a person sure. to play in a magnificent field at Campanelli Stadium. So it's being taken place at um, the home of the Brockton Rocks, Campanelli Stadium. and. There is an early bird registration, which we may or may not hit before time, but it's this coming Friday is in order to, if you register and pay before July 1st, your name gets entered for your um, team to win a, a rock suite. Mm -hmm. And then um, the formal um, deadline is July, Friday, July 8th. And that's the drop dead de deadline. And um, so you can do it a couple ways. You can go online to um, Facebook page, which would be the Just Checking In uh, Facebook page. And if you just put that in, you'll see a nice green shamrock. Or you can go onto our website, which is www.justcheckingin.org. And both of those um, are really our, our go-to places where we send information out. And um, so that's how you put together a team. If you are an individual player and you think you want to play, we don't have any kind of free agents, but if someone's really interested, we may have those people available to fill a void on a team. But technically, we're, it's not like, okay, let's have um, these opportunities just to stack a team. But it is about being fun. Right. Um, and we really try to make sure that it remains fun, although there's a, it, when you hit that field and competition is in your mm -hmm. blood, you can't help but, um, but hit that ball as far and hard, hard as you can. And you need cheerleaders too. You, you need, need, there are a lot of people that come just they to do. watch. They do. We had last year over 1,500 people that showed up to Campanelli Stadium. And it's, it's so we think about it, we had 47 teams, call it about average of 10 people on a team. So there's your 470 people alone. Mm -hmm. They all bring family, they bring friends, there's lots of supporters. Um, it's pretty, it really is pretty cool. So there's a couple other things. Um, so there are, we have contests for the best team name mm -hmm. and we have a contest for the best uniform. So 
it changes and you can incorporate a logo, you can incorporate a fun name. Um, it, it, it's, and so- Some the, of the names are great. The names, I, you know, well, one of them is Cruise Control. So, so the Cruise family, um, you know, and they do it up in green and they all had the number 54, which is John's number from not only the age that he passed away, but it was his number in football and it's a number of our house. So that 54 kind of rings through. Um, so they all had number 54 on the back, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But there's also some President Fred Clark um, and his family um, and his wife Carrie and his family had um, a cape, like the, the Cape Crusaders and, um, you know, because they wanted to show their strength. and. Um, you know, so there's little things that we do along the way. Um, so Joe Lupica is our DJ and he's always entertaining and he donates his time to us, which is phenomenal. Joe's a great guy. It, he's he a community is, guy and he he's really always is. there. He's, he's the go-to guy. He really is. And we have a slew of volunteers and it's from checking people in, but then relieving. And so I'm wearing one of the, um, the um, umpire uniforms and if you it says number 54 on it and it says uh, Waldron umpire and so everybody wears John used to wear these shirts all the time at a casual um, event or his Fridays when he worked for the state retirement board so it's pretty fitting that this is the uniform for the uniforms for the um, for the umpires so I wonder if you can get a t-shirt that's a Hawaiian shirt maybe maybe we should so, upgrade our wardrobe we have so, with cable gurus it's blue and white. Okay, we kept it pretty simple last year, but now we're into year two. So Sherry sent out, Sherry's kind of the team captain and Matt's vying to be the team co-captain. Right. And uh, we're, we're into it. Well, let me tell you the, the essence of the Wiffle Ball Tournament and it was um, the young man um, who played on your team last Eamon. year. Eamon. Yes. And you know, it, uh, he was such a kind soul and, and you know, how you play the game and it's not, it isn't, it isn't about necessarily winning, it's just about having fun. And what a, just a fine young man. I had more people comment about his, his for being a, such a young man and having such a great presence on the field. It was just astounding, so. Well, he's, he's also our new host for One North Man. Ah, terrific. Uh, Jay did a wonderful job with yes, it and said, yes. uh, you know, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's GQ. Yeah, you know? there we go. So he's coming back. We'll, we'll do the sideline reporting another time. Uh, believe it or not, I got the one minute cue. So final thoughts great. to great. pump sure. up the business. Um, it's, we have sponsorship opportunities and go onto our website and Facebook page about that because that also helps supplement. Um, if you're looking for a great fun time. One last thing is the night before, we're gonna be at the Brockton Rocks and we're doing a dedication of our home plate to the victims and families of substance abuse. So come out Friday night to the Brockton Rocks um, baseball game and see a demonstration as well as a um, dedication to, of home plate to those families. So www.justcheckingin.org or you can go to our Facebook page, Just Checking In. Mary, thanks for keeping John's memory alive thanks, and everything Mark. that you're doing. Thank you for everything, Mark. Okay. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.